Okay, I'm gonna do a quick little video here. I'm almost done with this process. I've rebuilt three of my deck spindles, put new bearings inside. I'm gonna give you the part numbers. The actual spindle housing number for this Cub Cadet 7, uh, 2165 or a 2185 is 719-3056. And this goes all the way back to early 90s, probably even before that, if they have that number. These are your lip seals. There's your number for the lip seals. You're going to need two for each spindle. And here are the, the hardest part of this whole thing was finding the correct parts. Now on your bearing race, you're going to need a LM1190. Then on the actual bearing itself would be a LM11949. Those are the parts you need. And then you gotta obviously take your old races out. There's an old one here, I pressed it out. You gotta press the new ones in. Which I'm doing over here on my shop press here. That's the easiest way to do it. I'm using that big socket to push them in. And I'm just sharing this with anybody who's got an old Cub Cadet mower like I do. This mower is uh, 27 years old, 1997, I think that's right. And these are completely shot. And like I said, the biggest problem was finding the correct part numbers, which I finally located. And believe it or not, there's people on Flea Bay selling these things used for 125 bucks a piece. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So I think the whole thing, the seals, the bearings, everything I needed to put this back together ran me about $90 to do all of them. So this is the last one. And again, I'm just showing you the numbers. There's your seals. And they go in two different ways. On the top here, the seal goes down and on that would be the down and on the bottom they go upside down to keep the grass and debris out so this one here goes in upside down or what would you would consider upside down okay i just thought i'd share this before i put all these things away i'm sure the camera work is pretty shaky but there's a lot of these old mowers out here and i'm damn sure not getting rid of mine it's still going strong so anyway, that's the part numbers you need. I got these on uh, eBay also. These came with uh, the bearing and the race. There's your part numbers for both. And you can even get Timken bearings if you're lucky enough to find them. All right, that's it. That's a rebuild, deck rebuild on the spindles and bearings on my 1997 Cub Cadet 2165. That'll go on a 2185 as well. And I believe it goes down into the 18600 numbers prior to this model. And it could go back even further than that. These are the old style. Where the grease actually goes through the top, comes out of this hole in the middle, and these barons are not sealed. They're able to be lubricated, which is probably why I got 27 years out of them. All right, I hope that helps somebody. <clears throat> One of today's projects, I'm gone.